What's up peeps and welcome to part 4 of my let's play of Pokemon Yellow Press Oak Challenge. Now, if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you like the video, smash that thumbs up. If you just like it, smash that thumbs down. If you've got anything to say, drop a comment down below. Tell me how much of an idiot I am because I'm just about to explain something. <sighs> and I've got a GoFundMe link will be in the description down below. If you could please donate, that would be greatly appreciated. It'll help me grow this channel exponentially. Alright, before I get started, I have a confession to admit. I downloaded a reference map. Um, I'll start mountain moon. But yeah, I downloaded a reference map, and yeah, like I thought, on Route 22, Spearow were there. So, technically, I failed. Technically, I have failed the mountain moon, moon the first road challenge because I failed to uh, get Spiro and Firo before facing Brock. However, I didn't have any reference material, so I'm just going to let that slide. It's my first time doing one of these challenges, so I'm just going to let it slide, and I'm still going to continue on, truck on, and continue this challenge. Uh, now I've got a reference material, hopefully, I don't think I've got any Pokemon where I can just like, like wear this zoo back down, so I'm just going to have to throw Pokeballs there and hope for the best. But yeah, um, actually no, wait no, it doesn't have sleep powder yet, I was going to say Butterfree, but Butterfree doesn't have sleep powder. Do I have any Pokemon on me that I can wear it down with? Mm, Sandshrew, or Spearow, Spearow. Right, um, yeah, as I was saying, speaking of Spearow, <laughs> yeah, um, Unfortunately, like I said, I didn't have any reference guides, so I did end up missing Spiro and Firo, which means technically I have failed the challenge, but I'm going to truck on and use the reference map that I downloaded from Reddit to continue on and do the challenge, do the rest of the challenge. I'm not going to restart because I don't have, like, I've already uploaded the first three parts, so I'm not going to restart and delete those uploads. It's like... It happens. But next time I do a Professor Challenge, I'm definitely going to get reference material first. But yeah, in this part, I'm just going to get to the end of Mount Moon. I'm not even going to get to Cerulean City, because of the amount of encounters I'm going to get in this cave, um, like, it's going to take a while for me to get through Mount Moon, and I don't exactly have the most amount of storage space, as always. I don't even need to say that anymore. Um, I'm going to grab... I'm going to get Paris, Zubat, Geodude, and Clefairy here. I'm going to try and grab all the items and avoid as many trainer battles as I can. So that way I can come back in here after I finish the recording and grind up the Pokemon that I have um, just caught. By also um, battling the trainers in here. Now if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat today, it's because my hair is... Um, it's a bad hair day, basically. And also, check out the hat. It says, live and love every day with a um, heart. And check out the colours of it. I thought it was... Oh, you... I should have seen that coming with it being, like, flying type. Um, but yeah. And with it being, like, Pride Month, I thought it would be appropriate. With the colours. And the heart and everything. Like, I thought it was appropriate. But yeah, it's a bad hair day. And uh, also, uh, out there, it's tipping it down. Like, it is horrendous weather. So, I'm going to have to go out in a bit in order to upload this part and download some more videos so I can watch some stuff um, in between of. This isn't going to go out. Mm, critical hit. In between of um, grinding. For, before I do the next part. Uh, I know it's super effective, but I don't really have much choice. I mean, at least it's a couple levels above me, so maybe it won't take it out in one hit. Please don't kill it. Are you... I need to catch you! <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to grab most of the items in here. Mostly because I'm not quite sure where the moonstones are. I can never remember where all the moonstones are in this in Mount Moon. 
So I need to go around and collect all the items. Like I said, I will be doing all the battles off screen as usual. The trainer battles, any, well, all the non forced trainer battles I'll be doing off screen. Um, no, not double kick. Let's try a horn attack, see if that doesn't kill it. Okay. I knew it wouldn't be very effective, but I just wasn't sure if it was going to take it down. Because obviously it's have a difference. Alright, let's uh, throw a Pokeball. But yeah, no, like, I can't believe... Well, I had a feeling in part one, I was saying that... Um, that I thought that there was a Spearow on Route 22. And it turns out, there is Spearow on Route 22. Therefore, anyways, let's not dwell on it. And let's continue this challenge and... Like I said, technically I failed it, but at the end of the day, like, at least I caught the spear on the next available route, I guess. So, there is always that. Sorry, I was just making sure that uh, I brought my cup of coffee in. <laughs> uh, I've got a Zuba already, so I'm just going to run. No, 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 I didn't mean to go down and press right. If you see my Sonic 2 playthrough, um, you'll know that my phone has an issue with pressing right um, on it. So, yeah, sometimes I go to press right and it doesn't go right. I right then, I press right and it went down. So, uh, let's just give it a cry chop. Give it a... It doesn't really need a critical hit, to be fair. So level 11, I'm level 28. I really didn't want to face this trainer. But yeah, no, go on, drop a comment down below and tell me how much of an idiot I am, that I should restart the challenge, that, you know, it's pointless me continuing because I've already failed. You know, rip into me, roast me in the comments. You know, go for it. I wouldn't blame you. I, I would do the same on someone else's um, challenge video, being like, you know, you're supposed to be doing a challenge, you, you failed it, restart. Like I said, I don't have the storage space, I've already uploaded three parts. They haven't gone up yet, as, as of recording this, but they're scheduled to go up tomorrow. So, yeah. I should... I'm really taking a page out of Over the Guns book, aren't I? You know, HTSF, how to successfully fail. Shout out to OTG. Speaking of OTG, I don't know if I mentioned this in the Sonic playthrough because I had to re record some of it, but Over the Gun, he was one of the first Let's Players. Well, I say Let's Play, he doesn't really call his stuff Let's Plays. He calls it um, playthroughs and how to successfully fail and that kind of stuff, but. He's de he was one of the first um, YouTubers, gaming-wise, that I was watching. You know, other than, like, say, Angry Video Game Nerd, there was just reviews um, and stuff like that. And then there was also Cloud7845. Like, he, he was one of my, the earliest ones I was watching, as well as Lewis Prower. You know. I've been on YouTube... Oops. Pikachu's looking happy. I didn't mean to press on you, but... And I know there's an item over there, but I'll go get that off camera because I don't fancy taking on the rocket grunt. But yeah, over the gun, definitely a big inspiration for me starting up my um, well, starting to do like my let's plays now. I mean, like I've been wanting to do them for years, but every time I tried to do it back in the past when I had like a laptop, I tried to use like Hypercam, Fraps. All that kind of stuff, and I just could never get it to record properly. Or when I was trying to record in the emulators, it would always like it wouldn't record the. Oh, no, Moonstone. I'm gonna evolve King now. It just wouldn't like record audio properly. I couldn't get the. Um, I couldn't. There was just so many issues that I just couldn't do it back in the day. Even though I've been wanting to do Let's Plays probably since about 2008, 2009. So it's been a good like. 10-11 years in the making of this, 
And Over the Gun is definitely one of my biggest inspirations, so major shout out to Over the Gun. But, yeah, and Over the Gun, like, his uploads have been, like, sp sparingly the, over the past couple years just because of, like, issues, and I can fully understand those issues because I have IBS and so many bowel issues myself that, you know, and oftentimes when you end up like that, you just you don't want to do anything. So I fully understand why, like, sometimes there's only, like, one upload every, like, few months or... Even at one point it was like, only a couple of uploads over the space of a couple of years. Like I said, I fully understand, and it's always nice to see whenever he uploads, and unfortunately I haven't been able to catch any of his streams since uh, Type of the Dead, way back in 2013, I believe it was. Yeah, 2013. Um, so like, I haven't managed to catch any of his streams live in a long time, but whenever he uploads a new video, I always go check it out. Yeah. But, and unfortunately, I'm, I haven't been able to donate to him because I've been, since that point, I've been, like, basically safer surfing and street homeless and... You know, all this kind of stuff where I'm living at uh, ex-girlfriend's places when I was with them. So like, I've been in dire straits myself, so like, I haven't been able to donate. But I'm hoping that at some point in the near future I'll be able to catch some more of his streams and actually, you know, give back to someone who's given me so many hours worth of um, entertainment, help me get through some really tough times, like, I remember when I had a huge massive breakup with all my exes, and it was when he was just uploading uh, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed. And I was watching that, like, every night, uh, as well as some of his other Let's Play, uh, HSFs, and it was helping me get through a really, really depressing, tough time in my life. So, if you ever see this OTG, and, uh, and I'll tag you in it. Uh, Helix Fossil? No, I want Dome Fossil. Kabutops. But, um... If you ever see this OTG, thank you for all the years of entertainment, and thank you for helping me get through... Ooh, I don't have Paris. I need to go back and get Paris. And all the years... No, no, all the years of entertainment and also helping me get through some of my worst moments in my life on depression. Like... You've been a godsend, man. Definitely a godsend, dude. Um, who don't want to bring that? I'll bring out Axis. And at some point, once I get myself all settled and sorted, and I've got myself like a decent PC. Um, hopefully I'll be able to game with you at some point, play a bit of Guilty Gear, or some World of Tanks, or, you know. Uh, if I'm ever in the area, I'd love to buy you a pint, dude. Oh wait, you can't drink anymore. <laughs> Hopefully, I can catch it. Right, catch the Clefairy, then go catch a Paris. Oh, and uh, I remember hearing you talk about how you're a pescatarian and Claire is a vegan, and someone donated um, for fish and chips on your last stream. Um, your Super Meat Boy one, your refail. Um, I don't know if there's any places in your area that does it, but uh, I'm not in that area anymore, but when I used to live in Exeter, there was this really nice little um, pub that sold um, vegan fish and chips. Um, see, I am by choice a vegan, but at the moment, because I've been relying on food banks 
due to situations. Um, I'm a freegan. A freegan basically means that I prefer to be eating vegan meals. Although I used to be a pescatarian, but I prefer to be eating vegan meals, but you don't want to waste food. So it's, you know, one of them. Basically, I've got to eat what I'm given. And it's not the greatest of situations, but you got to survive. And on top of that, it's also still, it's messing up my bowels, like, because I need, like you, I need to have the right kind of dietary to, you know, not do my bowels in, and, like, I just don't have that right now because of situations. But yeah, no, try and see if there's any, like, local pubs, like, not chains, but, like, a little local pub, like, the place in extra is called The Cavern. So this tiny little pub that, you know, put on, put on punk gigs and all that kind of stuff, because there's a huge punk scene in Exeter, but, um, yeah, just have a look around and see if there is any places that do vegan fish and chips, because that vegan fish that I had was actually really tasty. You couldn't even tell the difference. You really couldn't. So just, you know, just, so that way Claire can partake in the fish and chips, being as it is a British staple, even though it, didn't originate from Britain. I, I did a bit of research on that a while back. I can't remember where it originates from, but it's not British. But, um, yeah. That way she can enjoy some fish and chips, and with you being a pescatarian, you can enjoy some fish and chips. And you won't have to mess up either of your diets. So, yeah, look into that. That is if you ever see this video. I mean, I'll at you in the um, description. So I think I can at people in the description. I think I can. So I'll at you in this in this description and just be like, yeah, I, I mentioned you in the video. Um, yeah. But yeah, just giving giving you a shout out because like, you are basically one of my biggest inspirations and got me through so many tough times. So once again, cheers, dude. All right, let's um, go be up Team Rocket. And then I shall end this part. And then I shall come back in and do some grinding before I um, go out into the rain and get soaked while I upload this. Stop right there. That fossil is Team Rockets. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Meow, that's right. Uh, I remember when I first played this, and like I saw Jesse and James, I was like, "What?" And, like as a kid, that blew my mind. Obviously, we were going to sweep them because like Rufy's like level twenty nine, and they're like, yeah, half my level. Um, may as well just sweep them. What do you mean, missed? Yeah, probably my favourite song from To Be A Master, the um, Pokemon album. It's gotta be Double Trouble, Team Rocket song, like... I used to listen to that song all the time, and when they used to come up on Pikachu's jukebox... Ah, yes. A brat beat us? Hey, got 420 for winning. 420, blaze it! Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light! Right, let's exit Mount Moon. Like I said I would go over to Cerulean right now, but um, I need to go back in and defeat the trainers for experience on the Pokemon that I've just caught and I'm going to do that off camera because you know, I'm doing all the grinding off camera because A, it's going to take a while, B, I don't have much storage space and C, you know, you don't need to see that you just need to see the main event parts and go from location to location so, with that all said, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up if you decide to smash that thumbs down if you want to tell me how much of an idiot I am, drop a comment down below if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. And I've got a GoFundMe, the link will be in the description down below. 
please donate, it would be greatly appreciated, any little will help to grow, greatly um, expand this channel and grow exponentially. And once again, massive shout out to Over the Gun, um, I'll be mentioning him in the description down below, go check out his videos, he, he's not the most massive um, YouTube playthrough, but he's one of the OGs, like, I've been watching this content since I Wanna Be The Guy, which was like 2008, 2009, somewhere around there, so I've been watching this content since early, early days. Anyways, with that all being said, peace out and namaste peeps.